I didn't want to make this video, but here we are. If you aren't caught up, yesterday Twitch released his brand new Twitch Terms of Service update, and it's really a kick in the face. And since they've released that update, my whole entire social media timeline across every single social media platform has been covering this nonstop. Since this has been released, I have seen Mr. Beast get involved in the conversation. I've also seen people lose sponsorships because of the conversation. And coming from a streamer who has been partnered for five years and has been streaming on Twitch predominantly for the last six or seven years, basically nonstop. This is a huge problem and one of the biggest issues I've ever seen on Twitch. Now, since the announcement, Twitch has released an apology or a backpedal, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to be really honest, the disrespect level has been outrageous. And I really want to share my opinions on this issue. <laughs> Let me paint a picture for you. Back in 2016, 2017, 2018, Twitch was novel. Twitch was fun. Twitch was exciting. You could explain that your career was playing video games on Twitch and you would have to explain it to people giving you cross eyes. Dr. Disrespect and then Ninja were becoming the biggest gamers in the world and it was really amazing to see. And for a minute, everything was absolutely amazing. Streaming had a real future. There was a real number value of sustainable living and income on streaming and video games. And then Twitch, out of nowhere, at TwitchCon 2018 or 2019, they started really banning a lot of people on their platform for crazy, wacky reasons. The platform became super inconsistent with itself. And at the time leading up to that, the idea of Twitch and the mentality of Twitch was that it was a growing platform. Twitch staff members were going to random conventions, every convention, gathering growing affiliates and partners, new partners of the platform, and having workshops with them on new products such as channel points, hype trains, uh, gifted subs, all sorts of that stuff. Personally, I was in focus groups for hype trains, channel points, and all sorts of stuff. In fact, I've been in discussions for the inception of channel points and hype trains. And I know that they still let some users use new products, but I feel like they just kind of silently roll them out to new users of the platform or growing affiliates or growing partners. The point is they've really seemed to change their outlook on these things. Nowadays, they're not really known for announcing great products. In fact, it's the opposite. They're known for putting out a product that is half-assed, mediocre, no one really asked for it. It doesn't bring a whole lot of new value to the platform. And then about a week later, they'll give us a new policy change or something that we absolutely do not like. The last one of these things I remember being the revenue split controversy, I think a year ago or a little bit more than a year ago. Now, I remember asking Dan Clancy himself at PAX West, what's gonna happen to my revenue split? I don't like to talk about this a lot because I've heard you can lose it, but I am one of those very rare Twitch streamers that has a 70-30 split. And he said to me that we have a plan for you. We got something for you. Because to be honest with you, I don't make a lot on Twitch anymore. I don't get tons and tons of subs. I used to get a whole bunch of subs, but now it's really hard. I've just been streaming for so long. I stayed vanilla on my content for a really long time and I just don't get the revenue like other bigger streamers get. So Dan said to me, we got a plan for you and you're really gonna like it. And the rest of PAX West, I felt a little bit at ease. We went into some other workshops where some Twitch staff and some creators, we got together and talked about some stuff and every creator left that meeting super thrilled and super, super happy. Now that's all I can really say about that meeting, but I do wanna say this, and this is really the main part of that video. After PAX West that year, leading up to right now with today's news, whether they backpedaled on it or not, I feel really fluffed by Twitch. 
I feel like that PAX West, all of us creators were the family in Troll 2, where they got this big crazy feast and it was really, really great and everybody ate, ate and everything, but then the feast actually turned them into plants and they melted and stuff. I truly feel like Twitch gave us a lot of great presentation. We had it, we were in a great looking office. And then today they completely went back on everything they said there, on interviews on Twitch, on things that the president has said in public. Luckily for me, I don't have to change much about my stream, barely anything. But it's the disrespect that Twitch thinks that they can change the whole world of live advertising. This reminds me of the time when the Fine Brothers tried to coin Reaction World and tried to take over reaction and reactions on YouTube and reacting to things. Yesterday, Twitch tried to take over the umbrella of sponsorships on live streaming. And it caused almost as huge as a reaction as the Fine Brothers. And I think that's the most important thing to take away here. Twitch really tried to nudge something where they really shouldn't have. And basically, to sum things up, I want to let you know, as a creator of a really, really long time, I'm basically a dinosaur on Twitch, being a partner for five years. Now is the right time to speak up. The only reason they backpedaled today was because the community went berserk over this, and rightfully so. Good job, Twitch community, you did good. But we can't stop it here, because they're having meetings at Twitch headquarters right now. How do we fix this, but still make the money we were gonna make with this product? That's what you guys have to understand, that Twitch is a business, and this was a business meeting that they had before they approved this tweet to make money for themselves. They wanted to take away from our sponsorships so they could focus on whatever they got cooking. But it's really, it's already broken the fabric of advertising on Twitch. It's already happened. I saw people lose sponsorships today because of the news. So in conclusion, I don't apologize for this serious video, but I'm sorry that I don't have a funnier, funner video. I was actually gonna make cool videos about IRL stream and something else, but this was important. So I hope you took this in. Remember guys, you're strong and you have a voice, so use it.